Hi, this is Mike, Family DIY TV, and today we're installing under cabinet outlets. Let's do it. Okay, so you might be asking, why do you want under cabinet outlets? Well, I don't want my backsplash to have any outlets in it. I want a nice clean bash. So my other, only other option here is either in countertop, some kind of in countertop outlet, or mounting my outlets under here, because I still want outlets. And by code, you actually do need outlets. So my solution is wire mold from Legrand actually plug bolt it's called and I'm gonna install it up here now you see there this is a little bit too long you're gonna have to cut it we're gonna show you how to customize it so that it'll fit we need some kind of power right so I have my power you can see it's running out here at the bottom when I installed these cabinets I actually drilled that hole and pulled this wire through so my wire actually comes from the basement okay you can see it running through the PVC pipe here supplies this outlet Okay, then out of this outlet, I have it coming out and then it runs up and you can do this and up the stud here and pop out there, out the top, okay? You can see it's over here cause that's where I have, I actually have a stud right here. So I couldn't go any further over. Ideally you'd want it to pop out up here. Okay, so this could apply to a brand new kitchen or if you just want to retrofit your current kitchen. So this will work in both scenarios. Mount this to the bottom of the cabin. So you need to know the, the depth or how how thick is this material under here? So what I determined was so a half inch wood screw with a washer and with the depth of this actual metal here, it's perfect, okay? Doesn't go any more than three eighths, which is exactly what we want, okay? Because if it was further than three eighths, it would pop through the inside of the cabinet and we don't want that. And I'm gonna add a bunch of these screws, okay? Because they're small, maybe like six screws uh, for this entire panel. Okay, so now we gotta determine the width. So this is actually the box, the junction box, okay? Um, this has to slide in here, put this against here, and then we're gonna make a mark, our depth. So, all right, now that we have our, our width set, we're gonna go cut this off to the garage. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're actually gonna use a jigsaw with a metal blade. I have my mark there, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this. So I'm gonna line the actual blade up with the line, put this square on there. You see, obviously, the square is the distance between the blade and the gate, and I'm just gonna cut this. We have our line right here. So now we gotta cut this, but we gotta get rid of these wires first, okay? So all I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just gonna cut them right in the center because you know, this leftover track I might be able to use for something else. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to address the side that's not gonna be connected to power, which is this side. So we're just gonna cut these short and wire nut them off just so that they're out of the way. So this is gonna be pretty straightforward like installing any other outlet. So the black wire goes to the black wire up here, white to white, green to green. Now I think one of the um, challenges here is that this is so tight. So you have to really be careful with your wires and not leave a whole bunch of extra wire because you don't really have a lot of space up here to be messing with. This is pretty much all the space you have. So I'm gonna to try to cut these pretty efficiently and mount them up there. Now we're just gonna strip the wires. It says you need to strip it the depth of these connectors that they give you. Now I'm gonna strip back these wires. I'm gonna actually do it so that this piece is level with that. It actually means I need to cut this wire to that line. So halfway. So I'll cut this wire right there and I'll do the same thing all the way down. Now I'm gonna add the clips, the pre -pro the provided clips. And that's what it looks like. Kind of makes like a plug on the end, right? Don't do what I did. I put the one of the whites with the uh, with the ground wire. The green is actually supposed to be for the ground. It doesn't really matter. It's still gonna work. There's not gonna be any issue, but it's just really an indicator. Now I'm gonna mount the track up there. Now that I got this all wired up, I'm gonna mount this and I'm just gonna use a spacer. I'm gonna use a shim to come off of the back wall. So I'm gonna put this up here, put the shim behind it, push against it. And then I'm gonna use my screws that I talked about earlier, these, to install this to the bottom. I'm also going to add some double-sided tape. Double-sided tape will also hold it up there so I can place it up there with the spacing and then run all my screws in. Make it a lot easier. So this is what we're working with. We got all of our six screws yes i decided to put six screws in mine i wanted it to be really sturdy also i put double-sided tape double-sided tape is just there for an extra grab onto the cabinet uh for long long term you know after a while people putting in plugs in and out they could loosen up those screws so this is kind of just like a belt and suspender sort of sort of idea all right so now we're gonna get up to actually wiring this thing basically all we're gonna do is we're gonna connect these wires into there bang this thing up there let's go <laughs> All 
right, so that's how you install bug mold under your cabinets. I would suggest when you're done using one of these testers to make sure that you wired everything correctly. I'll try to remember to put a link to this down, down below. But if I don't, you can pick these up at Home Depot, Lowe's, all your big box stores you pick up on Amazon. I would ask you to please subscribe to the channel. Consider subscribing. Um, but I'm Mike, Family DIY TV, and I'm out. Also, give me a thumbs up if you could. I'll wait for that. Hit that thumbs up button.